Major investments in energy efficiency and a switch to renewable power in six East Asian countries could stabilize greenhouse gas emissions, increase access to energy, and improve the quality of life in the region, according to economists at the World Bank. The six countries are China, Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, Thailand, and Vietnam. East Asia is definitely ahead of the world. First of all, East Asia's economic growth is the fastest in the world over the past three decades. So this fast growth accompanied with rapid urbanization have bringing two challenges, the environment, sustainability, energy security. So many of these countries recognize these challenges. That's why they are getting onto this green growth path. About half the region's energy infrastructure will be built in the next 10 years. And what gets built and how will have an enormous impact on energy emissions until 2050 and beyond. But even with the support of the region's leaders, getting the money, the technology and the know-how for a greener future will not be easy. There are tremendously uh, large requirements in terms of additional financing. Uh, the report estimates something like about $85 billion a year has to be made available because in order to make uh, the technologies carbon friendly or carbon neutral, you have to put a lot more money into it. So that's a big hurdle. The second hurdle is there is a lot of resistance still among the developing countries who feel that the problem of carbon was somebody else's creation. Growing cities and rapid industrialization means that over the past 30 years, energy consumption in East Asia has tripled. That demand is expected to double again in the next 20 years.